We haven't met yet, have we? Uh, no, I'm no. Buzzard. Boy buzzard. He's always always that shit. I'm always eating everything, that's right. He like to stand in the kitchen and eat, you know? You always catch him with something in his hand. I think he got a tape on him. The evening started out slowly, but a local theater has let out, and a wave of customers has now arrived at the restaurant. Go ahead and follow me, and I'll go ahead and seat you. All right, Ricky, yeah. where's my salmon that's supposed to be split? Don't be in such a fucking hurry to do shit. Holy smoke. It quickly becomes obvious to Gordon that this restaurant does not have a leader. Just two major opponents, Ricky in the kitchen and Tabitha in the front of the house. Salmon and a sea bass split? No sea bass. Huh? No sea bass. Fuck, man. How come you didn't tell me that when you seen the ticket? Because I didn't see the ticket. I'm like really frustrated with Ricky, um, us not having everything. They've been sitting there for 15, 20 minutes when their food should be coming out any minute. I just found out that we have no sea bass. Oh, for Christ's sake. Is that what we both ordered? Yeah. Ricky doesn't have many of the food items that are on the menu, and what they do have is pre-packaged and overpriced for the town of Pomona. I just tasted this. It tastes like powdered mashed potato. They are. They, they taste all right. You put a little butter in them, whatever, put the sauce over them, they taste okay. Nobody's ever complained about them. I didn't even know that he was using instant potatoes. I think Ricky's a little lazy. Holy mackerel. Yeah, is that a day? Yeah. Yeah, look at the day. It's February 16th. What's the day today? Do not serve that fucking cake. Don't serve it. End of fucking story, Don't yes? Serve it. Okay. Then, in a dinner service that's not exactly smooth sailing, some of the staff start abandoning ship. Caroline, I'm going home. We're still busy here. We're not. The, the rush is over when? Are we finished, or? No, I'm just taking a break right here. Where, um, where's Buzzard? Are they all gone? He's walking down the alley right now with his bag of goodies. That's the buzzard, though, you know? It's always, always waiting to grab something with his damn claws. Buzzard and one of the cooks have walked off, but they are not empty-handed. Oh, and what have you got in there? Got a sandwich from earlier, uh, some pasta that somebody ordered and didn't want. <laughs> Jesus, lamb in there as well. Yeah. OK. <laughs> we don't know about it. Did you ask anyone for it? No. You need to go talk to her and let her know. I have no problem with that. OK, she I'll says, come no, with you. Let's go. We'll go together. We wonder why there's things missing after he's gone. This is Buzzard's little Little picnic. Nice little sandwich there. Ham, cheese, mustard. Oh, nice big salad. And main course, we're going to tackle some New Zealand lamb. Now, you know where that came from. Stop laughing. Here we are, with the restaurant that's financially fucking screwed, and you're just helping yourself to wine and a four-course dinner. He takes little things every now and then, but I haven't seen him do something like that in a while. Uh, you're you're, 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 you're talking at you. Yeah. No, 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 OK? You know this lady owns it. Buzzard. Oh, man. I know. <laughs> Unbelievable.